Hello, I'm Isabel from Nikki's Little Stitches. In this video, we'll be making a doll sized sleeping bag. It's got one piece of fabric for the outside of the sleeping bag and then another for the lining. And then we've got a pillow with corresponding fabrics. Most of the materials that you'll be using are in the kit, but there are a few things that you'll need from home. This includes a sewing machine and thread, an iron and ironing board, um, a washable marker or tailor's chalk, a pair of fabric scissors, a ruler, a chopstick to poke out the corners, and some pins. In the kit you will find stuffing, um, two craft paper pattern pieces, and then two pieces of cotton fabric. The pattern, or the paper for the pattern pieces is craft paper, which means that one side is just regular paper and the other side is coated in wax, which is the shiny side. So this means that when you iron the craft paper onto your fabric with the shiny side down, it'll stick together. Firstly, start by ironing your fabric flat so that there are no creases or wrinkles. Then take your craft paper and line it up on top of your fabric, making sure to line up the edges and corners of the craft paper with the edges and corners of the fabric. This way you'll have to cut less. Now as you can see, it sticks together and you can cut around the edge. Do the same thing with the larger pattern piece. You should now have um, one small and one large piece of each fabric. Then we can get on to sewing. So let's start by taking the big pieces of fabric, setting the smaller ones aside, and just lay your first piece of fabric out flat on your table um, with the pretty nice side facing up. This one doesn't really have a nice side, so a right side or a wrong side. Then you're going to line your next piece of fabric right on top um, with the like side facing down or touching the other fabric. Line everything up, corner to corner, edge to edge, and then take your pins and put a pin and to hold it in place. Now taking my washable marker and ruler, I'm going to draw a line about a half of an inch away from the edge 
and this will show where I should sew. So do it all the way around. And then on one of the long sides, so like this side or this side, towards um, the right side, leave an opening of about three or four inches, like this, um, so that you can turn it inside out and stuff it, or not stuff it, turn it inside out. So then we're going to sew starting here. Back stitch along here, so all the way down here, turn the corner, so, 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 turn the corner, all the way back to here, and then back stitch. helps reduce the bulk um, when it's turned inside out. Using that chopstick, I'm gonna carefully stick it in through the hole and use it to poke out the corners to make them very sharp. going to sew around the whole thing uh, very close to the edge.
Okay. Once you finish that, fold it in half. Nice and flat. Put some pins together, but only on one side. So I put two pins in here, but not over here. And now what we're going to do is sew along here, right over the stitching, or as much as we can, so that it goes through both layers, all the way up until about here. But you can really decide how much you think you should leave that because it's just for the flap so that it can open up. And I'm gonna, once you've decided where you're gonna stop, just put a pin in to mark it. And then you can start here, so all the way down here and here. pretty simple. Just take your first piece of fabric, um, lay it down with the right side facing up, and then take your second piece, lay it right on top with the leg side or the leg side facing down, and then pin the corners together. To what we did on the sleeping bag, you're going to take your ruler and your washable marker and draw a line about a half inch away from the edge, all the way around to be your sewing line. And then on one of the shorter ends, um, leave about a two or three inch gap so that you can turn it inside out. going to sew around on uh, this line, starting here, back stitching, sewing down here, turning the corner, all the way around until I get to here, and then back stitching. turn it inside out. again like the sleeping bag I'm gonna take my chopstick and use it to point out the corners.
now I'll take it over to my iron and iron it flat. Once it's nice and flat, I'm going to take my pins and mark where the opening starts and finishes. Then, with my sewing machine, I'm going to sew right along the edge. Not right along the edge, but like about an eighth of an inch away from the edge. All the way around, starting at this pin and then finishing at this pin. Okay, now once we've done that, we get to do the fun part, which is stuffing it. So taking small bits at a time, poke it gently through the opening until it's as puffy as you like. Then, once it's stuffed enough, um, I'm going to pin the opening. And then just do one line of stitching down to sew it closed. And then you're finished. Now you're done. You have officially completed a doll-sized sleeping bag. Good job. <laughs>